Hey there Mission Control, it's The Real Martian here. Today I wanted to go over insulation. So if you've been following around uh, for a while on The Real Martian uh, YouTube channel, you know that last winter was a real bear. If you're brand new to the channel, I'd recommend you go back and check out some of our wintertime postings, some of the initial videos where we talk about heating and all the challenges that we had. Bottom line up front, or the bluff if you will, uh, the bluff is we need to have insulation and last year we didn't and it was El Bado. So this year we're going to spend some time actually getting insulation in before the November 11th deadline, which is just a few, few days around the corner, you might say. At least it feels that way. So I wanted to take this opportunity in this video, it'll be pretty quick, and just reintroduce insulation and where, what we're thinking of right now. So first, you, you, let's get the whole building. So those trusses, I think they're about 10 feet apart from there to there and then you can see the inside of it comes up and then there's a cable that goes across and comes all the way back down and then we got the ends of the building let me show you that so here now there's a seam that runs all the way along the edge of the building there and then you have this door which has a seam that runs all the way along it as well. So, uh, we've thought of a few different things, right, uh, together. We've talked about uh, insulating the individual lanes. Uh, first idea, well, what we did last year is we actually took a piece of plastic and went over the top of lane two and over the top of lane three, and we just heated inside of there. And uh, we floated around ideas this year of, well, let's just kind of do that again and maybe just cover up lane two and one together. So let's go look at that. We could take plastic from here, go up, go over, come back down, and kind of have a door right here. And then just heat that lane, and then also heat lanes three and four the same way. And that wasn't a bad idea. But then we had another decision. We needed to have space to process all the microgreens. So... Now we'd actually need to enclose this as well. So the decision we made to actually turn this building into microgreens, which we knew ahead of time was gonna do this, we talked about it, uh, is forcing us to insulate the entire inside of the building. Uh, the reason for that is so we didn't have to go buy another building to put all the microgreen processing stuff into and therefore have to carry the microgreens out of this building in the freezing cold or sub-freezing temperatures to another building, potentially ruining the microgreens not to mention just exposing ourselves to a lot of back and forth, a lot of back and forth. And at full production rate of 18 trays per hour for four hours a day, five days a week, that would be nuts. That would be El Crazio. So uh, we decided, well, we have this space. Let's use what we have. It may be less than optimum, but we have it, so let's make it work. So now we make that decision. Okay, you save the money. We could have got a Connex. We could have done another building. We could have done all those things, but this is the choice that we made. So now, we have to insulate the entire building. And here are my thoughts so far. Uh, I actually called a supplier that insulates buildings just like this one, and if we were to buy the purpose-made uh, insulation for it, it's roughly $8,000 for this entire building. That's quite a big chunk of change that we don't have. So um, I asked them what the R value was, and it was 7.5 of that insulation. And when I looked up uh, doubled layer plastic with uh, air blowing in between them, it was roughly about the same R value if I got my numbers correct. So I could spend $8,000 for purpose-made insulation or we could find a way to create dead air space in here. So I'm gonna start with the easy part. At each end of the building, there's the far end, there's that one. So if you think of this exact same location all the way down there, this part right here is gonna be very hard to insulate, but from here all the way down to that corresponding location right there where my finger's pointing to, we could actually get a single piece of plastic and we could wrap it along, let me see. We can get that plastic, I think, and get it to go back here and clamp it on getting some C-clamps uh, that they make for this. This is inch and a half, I believe. So you have the clamps that would clamp right on the plastic, and we can clamp that to the outside, and then this would actually create a pretty 
this would be the outer edge of the double layer and then this plastic would come around here and go on the inside all the way down all the way down on the inside of this uh, each of the galvanized truss and then we would run the plastic up over and we get to that wire right there the cable and we'd hang it from that bring it all the way over and bring it right back down and go all the way down to the other side so if we did that and I'm walking down to the other side so you can see what I'm talking about, make more sense here. If we did that, essentially 90% of the entire building uh, would be insulated and then we just put an air pump on there and it's all open inside uh, so we could actually uh, move the air in and that's going to be quite a bit of insulation. In addition, we want to do uh, 10 foot sections of plastic. So we'd have a section of plastic that goes from there to there and comes all the way over. And we want to do that because we actually have lighting and electrical and Wi-Fi up top. So if you ever needed to do maintenance, we only want to drop one of those sections to be able to get to where we need to. So 10 foot sections, and that's roughly about 65 feet. I think it's going to be a little bit less if we cheat and go across the uh, cable. Um, but if you were to go around the entire outside of the metal, that's 65 feet according to the manufacturer. So we would run plastic from right there all the way down to the other side and we'd seal that all up and that would give us double layer there. So now the challenge is that we have to find a way to seal the ends. And uh, this side where we're at right now might be easier because there's no sink and there's no man door. We just need to close that, close that up there and then probably uh, bring two pieces of plastic from here over and then drop it down so that that is all behind the two layers of plastic. So if my fingers were each a piece of plastic, we'd have two pieces of plastic coming down right here, going up and turning and connecting in where we have it sealed right there. I think that's how we would do it over here. Uh, but the other end is a lot more complicated because we have uh, the man door and the sink and all that. So I'll probably have to disconnect the sink and move it out a little bit in order to put the plastic in behind it. Let me show you here. So we need to cover all that. That door can close all the way and we won't open it during winter time. That will uh, close as well. But then we're going to have to probably put an airlock around the door uh, to come in and go out of. And then move the plywood off the wall and drop the plastic behind it and have the two uh, pieces of plastic coming over and dropping down and then having it all tacked in place. So I hope that made sense. Uh, I'm putting this out there because I'm going to start looking for plastic uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, it's, uh, by the time you guys see this, this is July 15th is the day I'm recording this, but by the time the cycle of videos and all the videos I have for you um, get up, it'll probably be a few days later. So uh, I'll be looking at plastic in the meantime. So when you guys get this, know that I've been looking for a while and I want you guys to let me know what your thoughts are, especially on enclosing the end. I think it's, I think it's pretty much a go on the middle of this thing with the air pump and all that. It's going to be just like a normal greenhouse, but these ends are going to be a real bear. So I welcome all ideas on the ends. Um, I'm going to look for plastic, get the C-clamps, order those in, in mass, um, and get those uh, kind of on the way here in the next few days. But I probably won't order anything until you guys see this video. I just will be looking. So. Anyway, there's the thoughts on insulation. Now, I, I still need to do automation on the uh, lanes one, two, three, and four. I need to get that built and put in. Then I can move over to the insulation. I'm hoping within the next few weeks to have everything here. So, pretty excited to get the insulation in. And then it's on to heating. And I'm gonna do another video talking about the heating options that we're looking at. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. You can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian, out.